hello my friends and welcome back to another youtube video today as you can see my friend has purple hair and it is only right i use the purple btl line uh braiding gel by edge effect brand this has a number four hold so it's not as strong as the number five hold but it does the trick and it does last him i believe he told me about three weeks so to start off i am sectioning his hair into two i do my my uh i do my braids half at a time so i do half the head first and then i do the other side of the head but um so i'm doing jumbo box braids or jumbo plaits on him i start by sectioning one side of the head into two because he wants bigger ones um two different lines or two different sections and then i take the first section and i split that in half this is I looks it looks kind of crazy but this is the method to my madness um just to make sure that all my parts and sectionings are even that is a big crucial part of this you got to make sure it's all even otherwise if one line is crooked it's going to look a little off um so i'm taking the first section he's going to have eight on each side so i'm taking the first little section and this is basically how I do it. I am smoothing all the edge control at the base and kind of brushing it in. And as I braid the braid down, it kind of distributes the product evenly throughout the hair without oversaturating the hair. Because sometimes if it's oversaturated, it'll make the hair stiff or it'll be white or it'll just, it won't be as free flowing as my client wants it. So I'm sectioning the pre-product hair that I am um that I I'm I'm sounding crazy right now I, so I put the product on the base and now I'm sectioning the section into three even parts um I don't really know how to describe my hand placement um this is if you just watch closely this is how I do it just to make sure the base is tight um there's no point in putting product on a loose base because it won't look good but my clients like tight base so you can see all the sectionings and partings um but that's how i start the braid and then i braid it all the way down and when i get down to the bottom um i have a different technique that i use sometimes if um the hair is dry you can you know add more product as you go down don't be afraid to use your product but also be conscious of using too much product so as you can see i tuck the end of the braid and then i band it so what this does is prevents like that fluffy leave out if your clients have thicker hair or curly hair or dry hair at the base sometimes it can look a little wild at the ends um split end wise so this is what i do i just tuck the hair um folded underneath and i band it so i just realized when i showed you guys the product on my middle finger it looked like i was flipping you off but i wasn't doing that i was just showing you guys the product so this is generally how much product i use per little section like i like i told you guys before i just smooth it onto the base or the root of the hair and then i smooth it or brush it down a little bit and then I take the little section I made and part that into three. I try to get it as evenly as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as you braid over time, you can tell if it's not even, one braid might be a little, or one section might be a little bit bigger than the other, and that's an easy fix. Um, so as I, I take the three little sections, and now I'm looking at it, I braid overhanded, and then I tuck uh, to braid, I think underhanded. Is it? No yeah yeah so i i no it's still overhanded okay so i braid overhanded and i typically no it's underhanded but it looks over okay so i braid overhanded to section and then i tuck it underhand to make sure that the braid is tight going all the way down so as you can see he has split ends that's common in um a lot of clients you have to figure the sun does a lot of that damage to the hair it's inevitable you can condition it of course but split ends are inevitable so what i do instead of you know just cutting it off to lose length um i just try to add as much product as i can without it being too much um i smooth it down and then i tuck using the tuck method and then i band it sometimes if you don't put enough or like if the band looks like it's going to slide off i do double band it um just to prevent that and ensure that his style will last long or as long as he wants it to
All right, moving on to the next section of hair. As I already completed the first little quarter of this half, to ensure that my parts are even, I always take it and go across the head. So it won't be a straight line because you figure your hair, your head shape is not straight, but it'll be straight for the part. So you gotta take your comb in a straight line in the shape of the head. And I always part like I do just to ensure that it is super, super even. Um, so that way when my clients look at it or when I look at it or if somebody's looking at the back of their head, they can't be like, oh, look at that crooked line because it's not crooked. I made sure of that. And take your time with this. You know what I'm saying? I per didn't get perfect uh, parts on the first go around. Um, it took me a little bit to learn how to do HD parts, if you will. But take your time with it. Make sure that, you know, you got all the little pieces in their place. Um, so this is a little bit of a bigger section. Um, you're going to use the same method. It might require a little bit more product just to hold, especially if your clients have uh, thicker, coarser hair. Um, he has a texturizer in, but he typically does have a, a tighter curl pattern, um, as you can probably tell by the thickness and the density of his hair. Um, so this is a little bit different. As you guys saw before, I was kind of braiding them sideways, but I didn't want to braid this one sideways because it's not going to lay sideways. It's going to lay more flat. Uh, to ensure that it stays in the middle as well, I, I brush the back of the hair of the section up and I braid the, or brush the top of the hair down so that it's all in the middle. Same thing here, I'm braiding, uh, I parted it into three and then I braid it overhanded um, to ensure that it's tight at the base. And then once I got it tight enough to my liking, I switch to underhanded. Um, when you have the little flyaways, you can of course do what I do and um, brush it down or brush the braid as well as you go down just to ensure that every piece of hair is in place and then you can braid it down brush as you go add product as you go there's no real correct way to braid of course everybody has their own style their own liking their own whatever but there's no correct way how to do this it's your own style your own take and of course it's a learning process so it took me a while to learn this but i got it